Uh, Dr. Avarasinghe, yeah. head of the Geographic Reference, University of Kalania, Sri Lanka. He is one yes, yes. shoreline erosion, formation of relief features, rocks and minerals, disaster management, climate changes, and environmental impact assessment, EIA. So I'd, I'd like to request Dr. A.J. Amarasinghe to deliver his speech on basic geological understanding of mountains. Welcome, Dr. Amarasinghe. Please go on. Thank you very much uh, for your kind invitation and also Faison for my delay of uh, coming into this session. So I wish to uh, share my screen, the improved one. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So, thank you for all the organizing committee and the co-chair, Dr. Muhammad Omar Farooq, for inviting me to present in this forum. So, my topic is basic geological understanding of mountain. So I'm going to explain a little bit on these uh, subtopics, though, though th these topics are not uh, very hard science, but it is a simple concepts and things what we are know. Uh, even then the people who are dealing with the mountain and mountain ecosystem, we want to know uh, the fundamental things or how the mountain formed. So this may help to uh, manage the mountain very well. Therefore, I am going into explaining the most uh, fundamental things uh, on mountain. So etymology means the uh, word coming from uh, and also the definition, existing definition for mountain and orogenic and orogenic process, how the mountain is formed and also the types of mountains and also type of faults and fold of mountains. And also I would like to pay you a particular attention on the mountain and orogenic process of Sri Lanka. So first of all, I would like to go into the word put, how the word form, so how the word mountain we get. Uh, so you can see this, uh, screen, it says mountain can help and remember the uh, word. Uh, that way, so any uh, the origin uh, meaning of that mountain uh, is climbing or going up. So this is the Latin word, I think people who are coming from the uh, Western countries may know the word very well. But however, in English, in Sri Lanka, we also use the term mountain uh, for the uh, places and the region where the elevation is high. And the Greek word for mountain is oros. So such kind of terminology is here and there. Uh, so I think it is the beauty of mountain. The word is its, itself given by the nature for us too. And the mountain verb, the term mountain appeared uh, in the literature uh, from 13th century. That's uh, people believe and literature says that is the old French word mount. It means to go up to ascend or such kind of meaning is there. However, we are using the mountain now uh, to place uh, where the elevation is higher than the normal area. Uh, and also, so we count the area uh, where the elevation is from the mean sea level is higher. However, people are not saying the mountain for the places where the elevation is high uh, near the sea. If it is uh, below 
100 meter or such kind of things. But I could uh, find the uh, definition for that also uh, from the physical geology book written by Sanders, Anderson, Carollo in 1976. Uh, they define mountain as the, uh, the word mountain is appropriate. They suggest for any part of the earth's land areas having relief of more than 1700 meters. So they define like this, but I think uh, uh, in general, we use the places where the elevation is more than even 100 meters. We use that. However, we don't want to hang on this, but the, in literature says the mountain, real mountains should be uh, more than 700 meters up from the mean sea level. However, uh, such kind of definitions are also there. And I would like to move on to the orogenic and orogenic process. So meaning, I would like to go into the meaning. So it's the great Greek verb word that is the root verb of oros. It also mountains. Uh, and genius is birth in uh, the Greek word. So orogenic means the birth of the mountain. So actually, uh, if we know the birth of the mountain, so mountain management, mountain ecosystem, mount, use of mountain will be more fruitful. In Sri Lanka, we uh, experience that people, those who are not uh, aware about the nature of the mountain, how it uh, form uh, because of that unknown facts, people get into difficulties, building such uh, holds, construction houses and such kind of things uh, effect very badly for them. Sometimes it is end up as a disaster. So I think the uh, the meaning of the orogenic process and how it affects may help us very well to use the mountain uh, for our uh, purposes successfully. Uh, and uh, uh, in that definition, so orogeny means the birth of mountain which are situated along the orogenic belts. So orogenic belts, orogenic belts uh, uh, are there. It is definitely uh, we can find uh, all over the world. So th this is the orogenic belts uh, that we can see. But the, the red color belts, uh, they form the mountain and also the, the green, uh, this color uh, and not in particular other areas. However, these are the main orogenic belts uh, uh, in uh, world, but there are minor uh, uh, belts and also there are belts which are not active now. In Sri Lanka, we have orogenic activities. We had, but we don't have now. So when the Sri Lanka is uh, on this belt, so the, in that time, the Sri Lanka had the uh, orogenic activity. Uh, but uh, in many countries, some time they are not activated because they are moving from the orogenic belt. Some countries, they are still on the orogenic belt. Therefore, they may uh, get the effect of the orogenic process. Uh, but we are fortunate because uh, orogenic activity are not uh, happening uh, every day or every year, sometimes it takes hundreds of years, sometimes thousands of years. Therefore, we, we don't want to bother about the orogenic process, though it is explained uh, here. So when we uh, go into and uh, explain the orogenic process, we want to uh, know a little bit about the lithosphere and how it's formed 
what are the uh, segment that it has been formed, such kind of uh, knowledge also we want to know. However, uh, when we go into the field or outside, we can see the mountain and also the plain, any plains, uh, such kind of things. So all the relief features what we are uh, witnessing or now at this time are the result of the orogeny process. Uh, so when we go here and there, we can see mountain. Uh, so those mountains are the uh, result of the orogeny process. The orogenic process is uh, linked with the uh, geological processes of the earth interior. So we uh, want to know uh, about the earth interior and its process and also the nature of the uh, uh, process of the earth interior. So I think when we uh, when we read about the continental drift theory, uh, uh, theory of the uh, Wigner, Albert Wigner, we can see the uh, uh, the plate technologies uh, mechanism and also how the uh, earth surface and the uh, geological plates are moving here and there. Uh, so I think when we go into the uh, geology and also the ge physical geography, uh, we can see the, how the work is uh, moving. The surface of the earth is moving here and there. So this is linked with the uh, Mount Orogenic process. Actually, this process is, uh, the speed is very slow. So uh, people may, in literature, they say the earth uh, plate is more, movement is uh, one centimeter per year or more than, uh, less than that speed. So therefore we are not witnessing in our uh, lifetime, the movement of the plate tectonics, but in some areas, uh, people can see uh, the earthquake and its effects. So therefore we can sometime witness uh, the process of the uh, interior of the earth and its results. And uh, when we see, look into the, go into the orogenic process and the process, geological process of the interior of the earth, we can see a different type of uh, movement of the uh, plates or, or, or the uh, earth crust. So earth crust moving, sometimes it goes uh, uh, depart from each other. We call it convergence uh, boundaries. So we can see the convergent uh, boundaries here and also the divergent uh, boundaries and also divergent plates, it's moving each other. Uh, and also some uh, plates go uh, inside the other and also sometimes uh, two plates collided each other. Such kind of process are there. So actually uh, the general public should know the little bit uh, about this process then it is easy to, uh, I think, uh, make use of the mountain uh, sustainably. Uh, and also I would like to move on to the earth process uh, using the small video clip, uh, download from the, uh, sorry, download from the internet. I think uh, gives you um, some impression. So, I would like to show you this.
I think this uh, video is on the uh, internet and also the link is there. So you can see it uh, if you need further. So I will move on to the next uh, part of my uh, presentation. This is the mountain types. So according to the uh, uh, structure and the process of its, its build, building process, the mountains can be uh, divided into four, four groups. So, and also the process of the mountain building or orogenic process also are linked with these uh, categories and different, different uh, methods, different, different processes are involved with these uh, types. So I will uh, move on to a little bit one by one. So the dual uplift for uh, uplifts and fall black mountain, block mountain, fold mountain, and also complex mountains. So all these can be witnessed everywhere, but in, in Sri Lanka, all these things can be seen uh, going here and there within one or two days. So, but uh, in Sri Lanka, we don't have volcanic mountain and also the volcanic mountains and stream uh, dissected plateaus are not taken into uh, as a mountain uh, in my presentation. So mountains, uh, we, according to the definition, mountains should form uh, in the orogenic belts. So some people in the literature uh, volcanic process uh, built mountains are not called mountains, but even then uh, they are also the one kind of mountains. Therefore, I am according to the given definition, I do not go into the uh, uh, volcanic mountains. So those are the pictures for block mountains that it's uh, it's developed because of making the faults. So faults mountain are like this. It is also the result of the uh, plate tectonics. And also uh, I move into this. This also we can get uh, an idea how the mountain is uh, forming, uh, fault mountain. And there are three types of faults. So all these faults, uh, all these three faults may uh, build a mountain or sometime they may collapse or destroy the mountains or two things can be happen. Sometimes it may be a constructive uh, effect, sometimes destructive. There are four two uh, types of uh, result can be uh, seen uh, by the process of uh, faults. Uh, and these are the faults and how it forms. This explained by these uh, drawings. So I don't want to go into uh, explanation, the slides. And uh, these are the terminology sometime. Uh, you may help these terms uh, and also the way the mountain is form, uh, forming is explained by these uh, pictures and the drawing. And also these are the uh, mountain which are uh, formed uh, by the folds, not the fall, fault, but the folds. How the mountain is trapped uh, when the earth uh, uh, plates is collided each other. Sometimes such kind of mountains are there, 
uh, sometime in your country there may be a such kind of mountains but these can't be uh, seen by naked eye uh, for the general public because we want to uh, relate with this uh, surface mountain with the uh, geology underneath so that understanding can be taken by uh, getting the information about the basic geology and also the another <coughs> procession of the fall so the falls also uh, there are the degree of fault may uh, appear uh, when we see the uh, nature of the uh, mountain uh, surface so if it is uh, sometime it may be a uh, simple uh, formation sometime it may be a complex formation so the syncline and anticlines uh, mountains uh, can be seen and also those are the uh, section drawn by the geologist and also the uh, these drawings shows the uh, layers of the mountain so according to the strength of this mountain the surface uh, erosional process and also depositional process, process and also the relief features may form so to deform such kind of uh, structure of the mountain uh, can be defined according to the nature of the rock type and also the mineral and also the uh, rain and uh, the surface erosional uh, processes so according to their uh, strength and the uh, uh, speed of having such kind of forces uh, can be uh, determined the process of the mount uh, process of the formation of relief features and also the another <coughs> some uh, kind of uh, pictures what i have uh, taken to explain the uh, fold mountains uh, and i will move on to the mountain process of sri lanka how it uh, become you know the where is the sri lanka it is the tip of the southern tip of the india uh, in sri lanka we uh, uh, this is the my uh, uh, result of a, uh, one of my study uh, so i uh, propose uh, the sri lanka is formed uh, by uh, colliding uh, five parts of the earth surface and also the sea level changes that kind of things so i am uh, going to make in a, a documentary film uh, on this uh, in this explain the in this process so it takes all the Uh, last uh, geological periods uh, i think 4.6 billion years ago uh, to up to now how it's formed so all this happened uh, due because of the orogenic process happened during the last uh, geological periods so sri lanka we have uh, like this the central mountain hills and also the penny plains around the uh, country so this uh, when we see uh, these mountains uh, central mountains there are so many fractures and uh, uh, slopes and also the uh, escarpment valleys and various kind of Uh, mountains and relief features are there so when we consider those things uh, we can go think that there are so many different kind of uh, orogenic process has uh, impact to has caused to form sri lanka so when we go into the 
elevation so we can uh, divide it into uh, several groups so uh, when we think about the elevation sri lanka can be taken as a country uh, where the elevation is 3 to 300 meters that means this country uh, we have only uh, small area of mountain even in that mountain we can find the various kind of uh, relief features within this uh, small area uh, because of uh, that uh, diversity it gives the uh, scenic beauty therefore the ancient people ancient arab people uh, they call the sri lanka as serendip so they are uh, they have given the name to serendip uh, because of the serendipity which we have witness so that is also a uh, map showing the relief features uh, and also this is the geology a map of sri lanka with the help of the geological map i uh, divided into five plates uh, uh, the sri lanka mm, and this is the cross section uh, of sri lanka uh, those are also the cross section from uh, west to east and also from south to Uh, south to uh, north. Uh, so the Sri Lanka mountain building process also linked with the geological process of the globe. So therefore, the uh, mountain building process and also the plate tectonic process, which is uh, explained by the uh, ancient geologist. Uh, a link can be linked with the sri lankan uh, contest uh, so we know how the world is uh, more wind the plate tectonics and also continental dip of vedna uh, this can be linked with the any mountain which can be appeared appear uh, on the earth surface of at present so those uh, these are the <coughs> uh, maps i have drawn to explain the orogenic process of sri lanka uh, and sir singh sorry to sorry to interrupt uh, you have okay. to finish your presentation please <laughs> hello okay <laughs> so i will uh, is it time over what has happened Yes, almost, almost finished. So uh, only three minutes, three minutes left. Ah, okay, okay. So I, I will uh, move on to the next. Uh, so the, I don't want to take more time to explain this. Uh, so these things I uh, explain that in detail the. Uh, the things what i am going to explain now i will uh, wind up my uh, presentation then thank you very much for listening me uh, thank you dr mohammad omar okay okay uh, you have uh, already you have uh, two minutes if you want you can use use those <laughs> I mean the conclusion or recommendation, any recommendation or conclusion if you want to mention, you can. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. I again thank you, uh, uh, co-chair Dr. Mohammad, and also the Dr. Harshad, who have made me to come to this forum. Uh, 
thank you for the all uh, the people who are organizing this uh, program. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Amara Singh.